Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. We're gonna cover what it looks like to throw yourself into shape. Hi, my name is John Bowman. I am a professional discus thrower and uh, throwing is my passion. And what I wanna do in today's video is kind of take you on along on what I'm doing to, as I restart training for the 2021-2022 season. Um, quick background, I have not thrown much in the last three months. Uh, my work has taken up most of my time, and but now coming into the fall, I have space in my, in my schedule. I'm gonna get some working out in, I'm gonna get some throwing in, and uh, I just kinda wanna show you how I'm doing that. What a, one of the biggest principles that I believe in in training is is building yourself up um, step by step by step as you move into uh, harder training. Um, yes, we could go out today and throw a ton and lift a ton, um, um, but we're going to pay for that if we do that for two, three, four, five weeks in a row. We're going to hit a plateau and we're going to crash. What's better is to start low and build a little and build a little and build a little. Um, this isn't the only way to approach throws training, but it is what I do, and it has it's what has kept me healthy and strong um, into my 30s. And for me, my goal to throw 200 feet by age 40, I I have to have some self-preservation in the way I train, and so that's what you're going to see for me. That is how I teach, really, on any age, because. We don't ever want to do consistent training that breaks our body down in a negative way. I don't think we ever should do that. I don't think we ever have to. Just be smart and be safe. That's just kind of the general overview you're going to get from, from my teaching and my training. But what I'm doing right now, I have about four to eight weeks left of outside throwing, uh, where I go to the ring and throw for distance. and. Um, so I want to maximize this, but, but like I said in, in last week's video, when I was more focused on the lifting side, I'm only going to throw once or twice a week uh, for these next couple of months. So right now, my biggest focus is, is, is the restarting the lifting, the restarting the throwing, and um, let that be slow so that this month's training prepares me for next month. So next month, I can add more intensity or I can add more volume without developing issues like tendonitis in, in different areas. Um, so in the next four to eight weeks, you can see up here, I plan to throw one to two times per week. Um, honestly, based on my work schedule that I have for the next month, it's gonna be once a week. I'm gonna have to work very hard to put that in my schedule. For me, throwing is non-essential. Although I wish it was and I love it, um, if I'd let it, I could easily just put it on the back burner and never get my throwing in. And I've had different times in my life where that's been the situation. And then six months rolls by and I'm like, where did, where did my throwing go? And it's because I didn't actively stick it in my schedule. And so I have to throw once or twice a week to reach my goals. And I'm talking about this fall for right now. And so that's my plan. Work hard to get those in. And for me, when it comes to what am I using to throw with, I'm going to throw with my uh, regular competition weight discus. So for me, that's the 2K discus. Um, if you're a shot putter, if I was throwing the shot put, it'd be the 16 pound shot put. And the reason I'm doing that is because when you have limited volume of throwing, limited time, then you, you need to focus on what is the most important. And for me, for any discus thrower, when it's limited like this, I need to work on seeing the discus fly, having it fly smooth. And when I'm, if, if I were to just do a bunch of uh, drills with balls, throwing into the net, although I could do that, and although I have done that, done that in the past, that will negatively impact my throwing um, when I am able to throw a little bit more, or if I, or when I when I'm competing. So for right now, it's one to two times a week. I'm throwing the 2K discus only. I don't see any reason why I should um, veer from that. Now when it comes to types of throwing workouts I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do um, two, possibly three types of throwing workouts. So um, the way I teach training, teach discus throwing, teach rotational shot put, is you train the push, which is the front half, the finishing part of the throw, and then you train the rotation. 
Um, you'll throw your farthest with doing the full throw, and so you have to train that. And so I'm going to have workouts that are push focus. And what I mean is like learning how to do the stand throw far, how to throw hard, how to use your legs to throw, not just sling your arm. And so an example workout would be 10 to 20 stand throws and 10 to 20 half turns. And so reason you're doing it like that is your stand throws, you're learning how to release the discus. So that's, that's what I need to work on. And with the half turns, you're adding in just a little bit of rotation, but it's still simple enough where my focus in that drill can be the push. So like right now, um, when I'm doing a push focus workout, um, it's going to be something, something like that. Now, of course, that's super generic. Um, there are, are a handful of, of pushing drills um, more than this. Um, I cover that in my course to talk about that in a second. Um, but that's kind of what it would look like. So I'm looking at 20 to 40 throws in a practice. Kind of depends on how I'm feeling, the weather, you know. Um, so there's a push, push focus and there's a rotation focus practice. And so in a rotation focus practice, that's where you're learning and practicing how to turn on your feet. Uh, a huge part of throwing far is being able to spin good and be able to spin fast, be able to spin on balance. And so that's just something you have to practice. So as I go into training, I will push and then I'm going to practice um, rotating. And what does it look like that? You're still going to do some stand throws. You're still going to do some half turns. Um, but again, those are more warming you up and you want to spend the majority of your training um, in multi, multi-movement movements <laughs> like South Africans and full throws and breaking those down into, into various drills. Again, um, this is kind of how I'm going to train for this fall. A third, a third option could be what I call a slam session. So let's just say I've, I'm getting in two sessions a week and I happen to get a third one in um, and I'm ready for it, then I'll do what I call a slam session. That's just going to be all full throws, building up to taking hard full throws not as focused on technical pieces, but more focused on feeling and rhythm. Um, if I'm honest with you, I don't think I'll throw a lot of those. I think I'm going to be on the push and, and rotation focus. Um, so what, I mean, intensity wise, I'm going to be between 50, 75 and 85% intensity. I'm sure on rotation days, a couple of my full throws uh, will be that 95, 100% just because that's important. Um, but this is, is kind of what I'm going to be doing to get in shape for, for my um, training right now. And I'll be honest, this is good enough for me. Um, I said this before, what I'd rather do more. Yeah, probably. Um, but right now in this stage of my life, just to give you more info, I run two businesses. So I have what I call my discus business, and that is where I create content, um, I, I run an email list, I, I put out videos, and I also operate an online discus and shop a course. Um, I love this work. I like to teach people. I like helping you throw farther. It keeps me in it. Um, I have goals. I want to throw far too, um, but in order for me to actually throw far, my life has to match it. I have to have work that partners with throwing. And to go with that, the work that I've found that partners the best with throwing is being my own boss, uh, being self-employed. So again, I run two businesses. The first one is the discus business. Second, I run a tree care and sawmill business. So I have two, I would say two great passions in life. One is throwing discus and the other one is cutting trees. I just love it. And um, so, so what, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I actually have a few things in the work that will uh, forever establish me more um, in my work that will give us be more grounded, um, a steady place to be, to live. And um, so I have to attack these two businesses, these two jobs and get things going. And as those get going, as the groundwork is laid, I will be able to do more and more and more training. So five years ago, I set off on this goal to throw again. And it has been a wild roller coaster. I have, you know, the, and the lesson I've learned is that I have to find work, I have to make work that partners with throwing if I'm actually going to, to achieve my goals. Um, I, I have a lot of emotions because some of it is I feel like the clock is ticking. Um, I'm running out of time. I want to throw 200 feet again. I'm 35 right now and I've been 
Um, so, so I have to be ultra creative. Uh, don't get hurt. <laughs> Train as much as you can. I've got to grow my business so, so that it can support my throwing. Um, I say all of that not in a complaining manner, but just kind of like that's the reality. And if you, if you want to throw really far, if you want to throw as far as you can, you're going to have the same obstacles that I'm dealing with. You have work. you got to make money, provide for your family. You're going to have uh, health issues or injuries that come up. And all of that's fine. It's okay for that to be harder than you thought. Uh, I think that's just a part of being successful, a part of achieving something that's big. Um, so uh, I'm kind of rambling here, but I want to take you on this journey so you can see what it looks like. Um, I'm not perfect. I, I miss workouts. I, um, lazy sometimes. Um, but uh, this is near and dear to my heart to throw far. Um, it's actually near and dear to my heart to create good content. Um, so with that, I kind of alluded to it a couple times in this video. I sell a discus and rotational shot put course. It's awesome. I've had lots of people in it, wonderful reviews. If a course is something that you want to try out, um, uh, then, then, then definitely check my course out. But if you sign up for my email newsletter, my email newsletter, I send out new emails every week. If you sign up um, on the welcome email, you'll get a t discount code for 10% off. So the course is 250 bucks, and so you get 10% off. And um, the course, you have it for two years and have all the teaching lessons, all the videos. It is the most comprehensive training I've ever put together. And it goes step-by-step -step lessons on um, from the very first movements all the way through training the full spin. And um, it goes through pushing, it goes through rotation, it has all the drills and exactly how to learn them and what drills you're doing and why you would want to do them. It is an amazing resource. Um, if you're looking to level up your throwing, this will help you. So again, uh, under this video in the description, there'll be a link to my course. There's also going to be a link to my email newsletter. If you sign up, you can get 10% off with that uh, just for being a viewer and um, checking out my stuff. So I appreciate you watching. You're doing great work, and I'll see you on the next video. <laughs>